Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video. So today I thought I would just indulge myself in a little storyline that I wanted to play through. It's kind of inspired by one that I've done previously. I am playing with a household of two, young adult Blair and her teen sister Christy. They live in San Myshuno. They don't really have like the best of the best. I mean their apartment's a little bit grimy. They recently moved away from their parents. They have quite controlling parents. And initially Blair was kind of thinking about just trying to make it out on her own, move to the big city, but she felt kind of guilty just leaving her teen sister alone with a pair of nut jobs. So she brought her along for the ride. The only problem is Blair doesn't have a job. Um, they've got this apartment, but as you can see from their household income, they're pretty broke as shit. They don't really have a way to pay these bills. And Blair's no idiot, you know, she knows that the key to, a succe to success in life is through higher education. So she has been accepted into university, she's yet to enrol. She didn't get any distinguished degrees, but you know, because of their parents' overly controlling behavior, she didn't really get the chance to dive into any of the things she's interested in. So she really doesn't have many skills. Up until this point, she's kind of just been focused on survival. So she kind of accepts that she's not gonna get a distinguished degree, that's fine. But she wants better for her teen sister, Christy. Christy is a high school student. And because we want the best for Christy, she is going to work on her skills, she's going to do her homework, she's going to be a good kid so that when she's eventually old enough to go to university, she can get a distinguished degree. So with Christy being focused on self-improvement, she also isn't really going to have much in terms of making money. So, for today's video, we're actually going to utilise two mods, and you'll see when I said that this was inspired by another video where that comes in. So I currently have my Only Sims mod installed, and I've got the Sugar Baby mod, the one that I reviewed most recently, not the Maya Game one. Because whilst Blair is going to be a full-time student, so this is going to be a three-part series, one term per episode, she is going to have to find a way to pay the bills and eventually pay her tuition. I mean, she's going to have to take a loan out. So that's where we're going to utilise Only Sims, see how much money we can make by posting a few saucy pics on the side. And then whenever we get a free, you know, few hours, we'll check for gigs as well and see if we can go on a few um, sugar baby gigs. So first things first, I think we better get the ball rolling, Blair. Let's enrol in university. She already knows what she wants to do. She wants to do psychology. And seeing as she can't do a distinguished degree, I'm guessing that will put us at Foxbury? Let's see what we got, what we got. I'm pretty sure it's Foxbury that do the non-distinguished in psychology. Oh no, whoops, wrong one. University of Brychester. We will study psychology, we're gonna do all four classes, we're gonna bang this out in three weeks. And we're gonna go from home, and we're just gonna have to take out a loan. That's not too much interest, that's fine. So I have done a video before where um, where we had a sim, just do, start doing your homework, we had a sim use only sims to pay for university. However, that situation was a bit different. It wasn't as challenging. It was really the first time I'd used only sims in any kind of like gameplay challenge. And in the end, like it didn't really make much of a difference that my sim was doing only sims because she lived in halls, she had everything she needed, she didn't have to, you know, upgrade any items, she didn't have to furnish anything. The only thing she really had to do was earn enough money to pay back her student loan. And she was only supporting herself. So this is kind of like the same challenge, but we've taken on a bit more responsibility. We're now having to pay bills for a full apartment and support a sibling. And we have another means of income with like side gigs and stuff. I can see Christy's already working on her skills. Research and debate. Good for you, Christy. Have you done your homework? Yeah, already done your homework. Good kid, good kid. Uh, what's our first class? We got three days before we have this one. Three days, two days. Oh, we've got ages. We've got a couple of days before we even have to start term. So I think in that case, once we finish our homework, we'll probably take a shit. See if there are any gigs going. Anyone need an escort for an evening or anything? And uh, I think we better create an Only Sims account there, Blair. She does have the sugar baby trait. I'm not actually planning on her getting a sugar parent, but I just kind of figured I may as well equip her with that trait just in case she needs that to be able to do any of the, um, the gigs. I don't know how many gigs we'll get to do because they don't appear every day, but hopefully we'll see a few while we're doing this week's playthrough. Right now my main priority is making enough money to, as I said, pay off the student loan and pay off the bills, but I did kind of mention earlier this place is, you know, a little bit rough. 
we don't really have uh, the best of the best, so with any extra money, if we do get the chance to make any savings, I think we're going to try and put it towards renovating this place, making it more... Making it somewhere we would be a bit more proud to live in, you know? All of these appliances are the cheapest basic appliances, so probably we'll want to invest in getting something a bit more reliable, a bit further down the line. How are your needs? Oh, you're absolutely fine, Blair. So, before we open up our Only Sims account, let's just have a look at odd jobs and just see if there's maybe a little rabbit hole or something. Any lonely Sims that require our services? Need sugar baby for a date. Okay, charisma level one. Oh, that's another thing. I don't have any charisma points. Uh, I'm going to take it anyway and then just bear in mind that I uh, I need to work on my charisma skill. Starts at 6pm on Saturday. Well, practice your speech a little bit. You've got half an hour. Um, I doubt you'll get a charisma point in that time, but... Okay, you better go for your gig. We have acquired the charisma skill. Oh, wait, does that mean we're level one? Oh, brilliant. Okay, cool. Good luck. Good luck, Blair. Be confident. Christy, it's great to see that you're taking an interest in building up your skill, but let's let's not forget your needs. Maybe you should use a bathroom, take a nap. Yeah, I think with Christy, it might be a good idea... i skip prom. It might be a good idea to have a little think about what she might want to study at university, just so I can try and ensure that she definitely gets a distinguished degree. I might have her... <laughs> well, she's obviously quite vain taking a lot of selfies. So you know what? I might have her try and go for like the actor career. So with that in mind, probably we will study drama. So why don't you grab a little bite to eat and then probably we'll practice acting. Oh, Krista, you're a natural. Oh shit, we got 500 simoleons. 500 simoleons, it only paid out 125. You must have gone above and beyond. Good time Blair, that's what they're gonna call you. Well done. Oh well, pretty impressive. That should be enough to help us out with our bills. I think the bills, the bills are going to come on Monday. Um, any more gigs we could do? Actually, that's probably not a good idea because you're quite tired. Why don't you just do some franks and beans and then we can keep that in the fridge for leftovers. So that will see us through a few days. And then when the neighbours stop being so fucking noisy, we'll get some sleep. Don't slam the fridge door. Actually, you know what? That fridge is a piece of shit. Slam it away, girl. <laughs> She's so angry. She's so angry at her neighbours. You're losing out. You're the one that has to eat this, Blair. You're not feeding it to those noisy neighbours. It's just scowling at her own dinner. This is going to end up being very poor quality. And you only have yourself to blame. Oh, normal quality. Oh, you got lucky there, Blair. You got lucky. All right, you know what? I'm fed up of being Mrs. Nice Tits. Pound on the door. Tell them to shut the fuck up. People are trying to sleep. It's a half eleven at night. So unreasonable. I'm going to come with you. I'll be your backup, Blair. Don't worry, girl. If any shit starts to go down, I will MC Command Center death these guys. Oh, hey, selfish asshole. Keep the noise down. Complain angrily about the noise. I'm trying to get some sleep to prepare for my next sugar baby date. Hey, I live here too. I'm sorry your life is boring. Maybe you should go to the lounge and have some fun of your own. Oh, you sarky bastard. Wow, what a piece of shit. What a piece of shit. I, could, I saw in your apartment there for a second. You were on your own, mate. Dancing by yourself is not cool. Sad. Okay, well, I think we may have just started some beef with the neighbour. I think we should carry that on. Level two of the acting skill. Well done. Christy, why don't you go get some sleep? Get some shut eye. Might just check, actually, how much are our bills? 656. Okay. Well, your needs are doing okay. I suggest you wake up. Let's um, practice our acting. Let's practice our charisma, so we're good to go for another sugar baby gig. And then I think what we'll do is we'll add a story to Only Sims. Charisma level two. Okay, you can take a break now. Take a beaver shot and then take a dump. I can't remember if you get paid just for updating Only Sims. No, I guess not. You just get a little bit of fame. Okay, well then in that case, maybe while you're on the toilet, just take a selfie. People have paid big money for that, Blair. And then maybe we'll have a little look, see if there are any, um... Oh yeah, selfie. Gorgeous. What a stunner. And then maybe we'll see if there are any gigs. I've got two stars already. Ah, uh, no, no, nothing Sugar Baby related today. Okay. We could do a video call with, um, Akira. Might get paid for that. So far, I haven't got paid for posting an update. I haven't got paid for taking a photo. I might just show wants and fears because I think I'm going to need to be flirty a lot. You want to flirt with Raj? We don't like Raj. Go and practice speech instead. 
Oh, yeah, we're flirty already. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, post a sexy photo. And then um, we'll do it again. We've got 76 simoleons for that. Okay, we still, we still don't have quite enough to pay the bills. But I'm pretty confident we'll be able to rake the money in eventually. It's a marathon, not a sprint, Blair. These aren't my sims, by the way. I got them... Well, I did their hair, but other than that, I got them from the gallery. Here's the original one by uh, Miko CC. Just in case you wondered why they look a bit different to my normal sims. You know, their faces are a little bit more cartoony. Well, I think this is probably a good time to do a bit more homework. We've got loads to do. We do need to get into a flirty mood at some point, though, and um, take another photo, because we still don't quite have enough to pay the bills that are coming tomorrow. And even then, if we did, we would have nothing after, so... Hey, Christy, you want to go maybe work on your acting skill or something? <laughs> Homework's done, take a little nap. Maybe if we take a steamy shower, then we'll be able to post a little bit more. All right, sweet. Okay, get changed into your sleepwear, and then we will... Post a sexy photo. Maybe we'll do a couple. Let's just post a few. I want to make the most of her being in this flirty mood. Let's do five. Five in a row. Yeah, I can see this being pretty lucrative. Side eye from the sister. We're paying to feed you, Christy. Don't judge. God. Okay, we have enough to cover our bills. We might even be able to pay like a hundred or two. <laughs> She's learning from the best. Might even be able to afford to pay like an extra hundred or two towards our student loan because we have to pay that off before the next term, because by that point we'll need to take out another loan. Now though, it might be time to get some sleep. I mean, the teen's needs are absolutely fine, but I might just send her to sleep as well, just to get her out of the way. Oh no, you've just got a fear. What's your fear? Fear of unfulfilled dreams. Well, I'm trying, I'm trying to fulfill your dreams, Blair. Sorry that you've got to work for it. Sorry I'm not handing it all to you. God. Let's do a bit more homework. History of perception. We've got to make sure we're staying on top of our homework and managing it. Do we have any classes today? Oh, we've got class in two hours. Okay. Well, I was going to check for gigs, but maybe we'll have to wait. Um, why don't you take a... St oh, no, not a brisk shower. Not a brisk one. Hang on. Take a steamy shower. Because if we get the chance to post a quick little OF pic before class, that would be ideal. Oh, I don't know if we will be able to. Damn it, because she's so sad about her unfulfilled dreams. Will you just get over yourself, Blair? Blair's university term begins and will last for five weekdays. Well, you both have class in like an hour. Okay, Blair's gone to class. You need to get into your clothes. Okay, good. Have a good day at school. Try not to get in trouble. Try not to bully anyone. Today's mail has been delivered. Oh, great. I love getting bills. Okay, we did well. We did well. We need to have some fun. We need to use the bathroom. Let's just um, get the bills out of the way. Let's just pay them. And maybe we'll also, we'll also make a loan payment. We've got five days to pay off a grand. So really, we need to aim for like 200 simoleons a day, if pos. So right now... Let's just pay off 208, and then we'll only owe 800. Oh, now I only have 44 simoleons. Just go and watch TV, and we'll get you out of that bad mood, and then maybe we'll check for some gigs. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I don't know why it's telling me to know my scholarships when I didn't get any scholarships. Oh, for fuck's sake, will you stop getting angry about losing control? You're so annoying. Find an odd job. See if there's anything applicable to you. Okay, this one is uh, charisma level eight, so I don't think I don't think I'm going to stand a chance here. No, nope, I don't think there's anything here I could do. Well then, until you stop being angry, do some homework. Do some homework until the hours pass and that mood buff expires, and then we'll see if we can take some pics. Because you guys have got to eat tonight. Oh, she's flirty. Right, take a break from homework, and then get changed into nude. Don't care about our reputation at this point, because I think this might pay us a bit more. If it's a nude pic, 93 simoleons. There we go. Take another one. Go crazy, girl. We are going to get a terrible reputation, though. But I don't think we're really that bothered about our reputation anyway, to be honest. 339 simoleons. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm going to serve up a meal. Let's do a salad. Just so that there's something in the fridge for when um, Thingy gets home. Christy. Stick that in the fridge. Okay, okay. Bloody hell, we're almost a one-star celebrity. I haven't even been paying any attention to that. Okay, now you can go back to doing your homework. Maybe um, maybe we'll put some clothes on you. Oh, we've got class soon. Okay, fine. Well, then let's change you into, like, normal clothes. 
What class do you have in an hour? Have we done the homework for it? 38 minutes and we have done the homework for that one. Okay, good, good. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to cut your homework short again so that you're ready. Ready for class. Have a good day. Oh, Christy's back, feeling pretty tense. Get leftovers and then maybe you could just watch some cartoons or something. Get leftovers, watch TV. She's gonna slam the door, isn't she? You fucking Sims. I don't know why your fun is so low. You didn't even work hard at school. You just did the bare minimum. Hey Blair, how was class? All right, let's take a look. So we have, I, therefore I am, we have to do that homework. Okay, that's the most important one. So this one, therefore I am into psychology, that's the one we need to do right now. And then seeing as you're so tired, maybe I'll treat you to a full night's sleep. How about that? Use the bathroom, get leftovers. And then seeing as it's the middle of the night, maybe we'll um, we'll try and see if we can catch up on the rest of our homework. We may not be getting a distinguished degree, but we can at least get a good grade. So we have class in six hours and then again in eight hours. The only homework we haven't done is misinterpreting statistics, but when do I have that class? Not for two days, so I can afford to kind of wait that one out a little bit. So maybe just have a little bit of fun. Christy, you're gonna go to school. And then I am once again, Gonna check odd jobs. Need a sugar baby for a date, perfect. <laughs> Always love a guy in a mask. Okay, begins ASAP. Well, let's do it. Starts at 9 a.m. Don't go and cry, you're supposed to be going on a date. You're getting paid for this. Try and paint a smile on, will you? You might get another 500 simoleons. How good would that be? Good luck. Sulkiest sugar baby date ever. Oh, she's not gonna get paid much because she's really angry because of this fucking fear. Oh, we got 600 simoleons. Oh, brilliant. And we have class in one hour. So maybe take a cold shower, try and alleviate some of that aggression you've got built up in you, and then go to class. These girls are filthy, man. They have never cleaned up after themselves. Oh, you gone off to class again? Okay, that means we're gonna have a load of homework to do when we get back. But that's fine, we're doing fine for money. And then Blair, I'm gonna have you make a loan payment. What should we do, maybe another 200? I think we could probably afford to do 300 today. And then we will fulfill your needs, take a shit, get some leftovers, watch some TV, and then we'll see if we can, um, I don't know if we'll be able to do much work tonight, but that's fine, because we need to focus on homework anyway. And the toilet's broken, just what we need. In fact, you know what, Christy? I wanted you to work on your skills anyway, so when you finish eating, you can repair the toilet. That'll be a fun job for you. I wonder if there's a way that I can change her likes and dislikes and make it so that she enjoys doing homework. Oh, <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like there's one here for homework. Never mind. Well, I'm sorry, Blair. I am sorry, but you gotta do it. But if we can get all three of your homeworks done tonight, then tomorrow, when we get back, we can just work on making some dollar. Oh, look at you two sat there, so studious, doing both your work together, helping each other out. Okay, seriously though, Christy, you need to go take a take a shower, take a shit, and go to bed. You, Blair, on the other hand, I should have really got you a coffee machine because you're going to be pulling an all-nighter tonight. She's probably going to pass out soon. Oh, I think she gave up. Okay, fine, go to bed. So now that you're awake, you're going to grab some leftovers and finish that last bit of your homework. you got to be an A student. Oh, shit, it's Christmas. Oh, I could really do without that, actually, but if I cancel it now... They'll both be in a pissy mood. What time is our next class? Two days, two days, two hours. Oh shit man, we've got two hours to get you in a good mood. Sink's broken. I'm guessing you're off. Oh no, you can still go to school. All right, go to school. You go to class. Have a great day, ladies. See you when you get back. Happy Christmas. Okay, what time is our next class? I think it's only gonna, be... okay, six hours. We've got six hours. So, cook a grand meal just for the sake of having you guys kind of happy so that you can say you celebrated Christmas. Oh no, oh no. Oh shit, man. <laughs> well, the, fire, the firefighters got here pretty quickly, at least. It's gonna cost a bit of money replacing that though. And now, have you got class? No, you've got five hours before you need to go to class. Oh, fuck's sake. So we're not having a grand meal? Try again. Let's try a grand breakfast. That'll be easier, probably. Sink's still broken. Please don't set this one on fire. I could really do without the headache from you, Blair. Level three cooking, okay, okay. Hopefully dinner will be ready by the, by the time Christy gets home. Okay, grab a serving. Grab a serving, go to sleep. I haven't even checked if there are any gigs today. It's all just getting on top of me, you know? 
Oh shit, we've got class in one hour. You know what? I'm, I need a coffee machine. I just need one. Come and brew some coffee. This place is getting to be such a mess and it was a shithole to begin with. Go and grab a drink. Have some coffee. Hopefully that perks you up a little bit. When do we have class? Five minutes. Gross brew, that coffee was gross. Okay, well, have a great day at class. Christy's back. Okay, Christy, take a shit. Get leftovers. Repair the sink. Mop the floor. That laundry basket's gonna be overflowing in a minute. Oh, God. Okay, Blair, just go to sleep. Just go and get some sleep. Yeah, this is, this is a bit of a challenge, you know? Bit of a challenge. And then, Christy, you just go to sleep as well. All right, Blair, I'm gonna have you wake up, use the bathroom, take a steamy shower, and then we're also just gonna quickly check. Oh no, odd jobs aren't on. Okay, well, if we get flirty, if we fulfill your needs and get flirty, then we can at least post a few pics, can't we? Oh, Father Winter's here. <laughs> He's got a black beard. Okay, guys, wake up. Wake up and introduce yourself to Father Winter so you can hopefully get some presents and then have a good winter fest. He's trying my rank coffee. Ask for present? Okay, I think... I think she's had a good winter fest. So now, Blair, you introduce yourself. And then... Ask for feedback for new photos. <laughs> um... Oh, I didn't even realise I had all of these extra options. Ask for present. And then share Winterfest spirit, and that way you both achieved Winterfest. And I'm gonna have you do your homework, Christy. Okay, come and watch TV. Do we have a class today that we haven't done homework for? 13 hours for Therefore I Am. Okay, I've got a little while before I have to do Therefore I Am and A History of Perception. Oh, you know what I could do though? She does really like video gaming, so once she does this round of homework... I'm just going to get her to um, play a game and then we will change into our sleepwear and we'll post a few photos again. Oh, Blair has completed freshman. Oh, brilliant. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, your needs are kind of okay. I'm just going to have you take a shower and then get some leftovers and then you will be good for school. I think you've done your homework, haven't you? Yes. Perfect. Oh, she got a, she got a grill for 1,300 simoleons. Bloody hell. Maybe I'll use that when we renovate this place, eventually. Okay, let's do, let's do maybe again, we'll do five photos because the mood swings you get, it's kind of a rarity to get you in a flirty mood. So let's do five and then search pockets, do laundry, add to the washing machine. Our laundry is getting a little bit out of hand right now. The last day of term is approaching and I still have like 500 simoleons to pay off of our student loan. But at least we're catching up on laundry. How are your needs doing? You just need to have some fun. Just watch some TV then. You've got, you got the right idea. Okay, wash laundry. Get leftovers. We both had a great Christmas. That's good news. Um, maybe I will empty the coffee maker and see if we can brew some more coffee. Okay, grab yourself a cup of coffee. Energy's in the green. Perfect. Unload the laundry. Move it to the dryer. I think that's all of our laundry as well. Laundry basket's empty, so great news there. Stick it in the dryer, dry the laundry, and then we are going to take a shit, finish our breakfast. What? To, how many hours do we have until we've got class? Six hours, okay. So that is enough time to do an odd job, if we find an applicable one. Need a sugar baby date, perfect. Okay, let's go. Maybe we can pay off the rest of our student loan when we get back. We owe, I think, about 500 still. So we might be able to pay that off today. Blair's classes in one hour. We earned 600 simoleons. Okay, 100 simoleon tip. All right, sweet. We'll put the laundry away and I think we should have another coffee before we go to class. We have done our homework for this class, haven't we? Yes, therefore I am. Perfect. And history of perception. We've done that one too, haven't we? Okay, great, great. We're on top of our homework. You better drink, drink that coffee quick and then go to class. Yeah, this is actually quite challenging, managing all of this. But you know what, I think once we once we pay off our student loan and we're able to actually start saving some money, things will get a bit easier for old Blair and Christy. And then when you get back, we're gonna make a loan payment. Christy's back, grades are up, fantastic. Okay, go and take a shower, go to sleep, do your homework. Okay, I'm just gonna pay off the remaining balance, the last 500, and we still don't really have to do much before we can pay our bills this, this week as well. So let's um, 
play a game. I could really do with unlocking that perk of like never, never needing amusement. That would be a good one. Okay, your fun is up there. Use the bathroom. Take a quick nap. I might check for gigs again. Seeing as we've already done one today, there might be another one that we could do, possibly. No, that's it, we've done it. Okay, fine, <laughs> just go to sleep then. Oh, you have an exam coming up as well. Maybe if we fill your needs, get you to do your homework, and maybe, maybe you might be able to study for your exam as well, possibly. <laughs> sleeping next, studying next to your sleeping sister. It's very kind of you. Oh, hang on, isn't this the last day of term? Oh, shit. Shit, I haven't done any of this stuff. The presentation, the term paper, the final exam. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Okay, I am going to have to... Oh, man. How did I forget about this? Term paper. Just write your term paper. I'm starting to worry that we're actually not going to get a very good grade at all because I've completely neglected all of this shit. We have a final exam in four hours. Okay, I think let's... um. Let's edit our term paper before we have our exam. Oh man, haven't done any studying, barely kept up with homework. But this is only our first term, okay? We still have time to turn this around and we have our final exam right now. We're already 10 minutes late. Perfect, perfect. Come on, Blair, let's go. Man, I have really dropped the ball on this one. Oh no, she showed up to class but wasn't as prepared as she should have been. Well, our next exam is in six hours, so get back to editing that term paper. I, we're going to fail one of these classes. It's probably going to be the presentation one, but you know what? Let's, let's at least try and get a good grade for the other three. It's just time, man. These days have just been flying by. Okay, our paper is looking good. Further editing won't help. So in that case, submit term paper. We've got four hours before our next final exam, so there is a chance, albeit a very slim chance, but a chance nonetheless that we could do something about our final presentation. Okay, term paper, done. Final exam, done. Our next final exam is in four hours. Will we have time? Will we have time? Probably not. Okay, refine and organise. You can do that for the next couple of hours. Final exam is in one hour. Uh, I haven't even revised anything, but I have done homework, so, you know, hopefully, hopefully that means something. Okay, your final exam is in five minutes, I'm gonna have you stop doing that. Ugh, and go to class. Good luck. At least Christy aced her, her exam. Can she do anything? No, she ca I thought maybe she'd be able to help with our uni work, but she can't. Well, seeing as you're in a good mood, you may as well do your homework, Christy. Put in enough work to get a decent grade out of that class. Okay, refine and organise. Get back to refining and organising. You know what, this is This is our last chance. I think we're just going to have to... Um... Oh no! Presentations can only be... So... We're fucked then. There was no point in doing all this. We can't even give our final presentation. It's not going to help us much to do our homework, but I'm just going to have her do it anyway, just on the odd chance that it contributes towards our grade. Man, I can't believe we didn't give a presentation. We're going to fail, therefore I am. Okay, okay, I mean, these aren't great grades. Um, total GPA is C+. Plus. Uh, I don't know how we got a D for misinterpreting statistics, though, because we did pretty good for that one. Yes, we will sign up for another term. Four classes, again, from home, again. And I guess, once again, we'll pay with a student loan. Well, on that note, I'm going to end part one here. Let's see how we get on next week. <laughs> Hopefully a bit better. Hopefully that GPA turns into a, an A. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.